Welcome to PVS the tutor. In this, in this video, we'll be looking at linear programming paper to type. Now, with me here, I have a question 2017 GCE. Question 9, which says, Makwevo prepares two types of sausages, Hungarian and Bifu, diary for sale. She prepares at least, at least, so she prepares at least 40 Hungarian and at least 10 beef sauce. Now, what does the word at least mean? At least means greater than or equal to. Alright. The number of she prepares not more than 160 sausages together and the number of beef sausages prepared are not more than the number of Hungarian sausages. So we are going to interpret this into uh inequalities so the first one says now they are saying given a given that x represents the number of hungarian sausages and y the number of beef write four inequalities which represent this condition now you need to know that you need to know that since x represents hungarian and y represents beef so when they say she prepares at least 40 hungarian so like i said at least means so we say R x is greater than or equal to 40. that's our first inequality then the, the, the further say and and at least 10 beef you know that beef is y and at least means greater than or equal to 10. what is number three number three says she prepares not more than one sausage altogether that means x and y together not more than that means they should not exceed one sixty. so what are we saying We are saying x plus y should be less than or equal to one sixty. Because when we say greater than, that means they are now exceeding one sixty. But they are saying not more than one sixty. So there must be equal to one sixty or less than one sixty. So we say less than or equal to. What is our number four inequalities? Inequality. They are saying the number of beef. Now we know that beef is y. So this is. Are not more than the number of Hungarian. So beef is y. And they're saying the number of beef sausages should not be more than the one the number of Hungarian sausages. That means there must be less than or equal to x. Now we have our four inequalities which they want. Now we can go to question B says using a scale of two centimeters to represent 20 centimeters sausages on both axes draw the x and the y axis for x 0 to 60 and also for y 0 to 60 respect and share the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution or the inequality lie so let's go and see how we can draw that now we know that x less than or equal to 40 and y less than or equal to 10 as well as y less than or equal to x can easily be plotted because they are same as just straight lines now we have a function an equation which is y sorry which is x plus y is less than or equal to one ski state now for this one we need to give ourselves our own values of x now we, we they have already given us values of x are from zero to six to one ski state. so let's first find the, these values and we'll keep them somewhere so we can give our, our, ourselves values of x so we can find value for y so making y the subject of a formula we can just do this 160 minus y sorry minus x so we know that x we have from so i'll plot something like that 
So we have x and y. So x we are starting from 0, then 20, then 40, because they said each 2 cm should represent 20, then 60, 80, 100, 120, and so on. All right? Then we have formed this equation. So for example, for me to find the value of y, I'm going to say y is equal to 1 sixty. X in this case, I'm going to get is 0. I'm going to say y is equal to 1 sixty. So here it will be 1 sixty. And if you keep doing that, you can find 1 sixty minus 20. That's 140. Then 40, no, 160 minus 40, that's 120. Then 60 minus, 160 minus 60, that's 100. A, 160 minus 80, that's 80. 100 minus, uh, 160 minus 100, that is 60. 160 minus 120, that is 40. So you can even end up to one, up to one sixty there. So just to make sure that it ends up to one sixty, we're going to do that. One forty and one sixty. So one sixty here minus one forty, we're going to have twenty. Then one sixty minus one sixty, we're going to have zero. So we have for this equation. This is what we're going to plot. Because it's not a single equation because it has got two values of x and y. So we need to look for the values of, of y, x and y connected together. So let's go and plot this graph. Now, what you need to know about this, y is less than or equal to x, it's a, it's a straight line. It's like this. It passes through the x or y plane like that. If this is y and this is x. So it passes through the x axis. Like it's a straight line. It's the same as y is equal to x. So it's a straight line passing like that. Let's see how, how we can draw this graph. So I won't label this part. I'll lab here. So make sure you've, you, you've copied this table somewhere. I'm going to rub it. Now we need to plot this graph. How are we going to plot this graph? So we know that this graph has got the x and the y axis. That's what we know. So Okay, so let's go now and plot. So, it's a sketch. I don't have the actual graph, so make sure you pay attention. So we have, uh, we have x is greater than or equal to 40. So before you, you, you pre, so this one you can even light it first as x is equal to 40. Then you go where x is. Now look at this. The la the when you have this when you have x is le less than or equal to we or with this symbol we use the this line which is not dotted. So we know the line which we are going to use there. Now forty in the x axis is here. All right. So that's where we are going to plot a straight line. So we've drawn that line. Now. Which side are we going to shed? Now remember the question says unshaded. The question they are looking for the unshaded region. So we know that x is greater than or equal to 40. Is the other side that is, is this side. But they don't want this side. They want the other side which is unshaded. So we are going to do that. So we're going to shade the, the side which is not needed, which is this side. 
So we'll shade that side. Which is what they don't want. Now, let's go to drawing line 2. Line 2 says y is greater than or equal to 10. So we can write it as y is equal to 10. And we're going to plot in the in the y-axis. We know that 10 is somewhere there. Half. We're going to plot a line like that. Now we have greater than or equal to. Which side are we going to shade? We know that greater than or equal to 10 are the numbers which are this side. But they don't want that side. They want the initiated region. So what are we going to do? We're going to shade the other side which is not needed. So we're going to shade the downside. Like that. Then let's go to where the one that says the one that says y is less than or equal to x. Now this is the same as y is equal to x. And like I said, this is a, a line that passes through the the origin join the x and y uh, coordinate now which side are we going to shade we know that they are saying y is less than or equal to x that means what is less than is what is down here but they don't want what is down they want what is the other side which is unwanted so we are going to shade the unwanted region and not the wanted region so we are going to shade the that part we're going to shade that part. One more line which is remaining is this. Is x plus y is less than or equal to 160. Now we remember we already made the coordinates for this. So we just have to plot. So we've got 0, 60, 0. 0, 160 sorry is there on top there then we've got 20, 140 20 is there then 140 is somewhere there 40, 120 40 is there then 120 is somewhere there then we've got 60, 100 60 is here then 100 is somewhere there then so if you continue to, to do that, you're, you're, you're going to have a straight line like that. So which I'm going to draw, a straight line. That's how the line is going to come. Now which side are we, uh, are we shade? Now they're saying it's less than or equal to. We know that less than is this side. But we don't want this side. We want this the other side, which is unwanted. That's what we're going to shade right now. We're going to shade that part. And the part which they want is this arrow. You call it the unwanted region. That's what the unwanted region is. So, from there, we'll look at this question to answer the questions that come next. Then, question C says, the profit on the sale of each Hungarian sausage is three kwacha. So, each Hungarian sausage, which is X, has got a profit of three kwacha. And the, um, each beef has got a profit of two kwacha. So, now they are saying how many, or how many of each type of sausages are required to make maximum profit? Now, maximum profit, this is how we found it. We find it. Take note what, whatever I'm going to say. So, I'm going to reduce the diagram a bit so that I can answer the question. So, now, to answer this question properly, we need to take into consideration the following things. We are going to get the coordinates of X and Y 
they are now going to multiply each coordinate by a, 3 and 2. So let's start with only those coordinates that are bounding this unshaded region. So first is 40 there. It's 40, 10. So we have 40, 10. Now you know that this is x and that is y. And x represents Angaria. Yeah? So we are saying this is 3 times 40 plus 2 times 10. To give you 3 times 40, it's 120. 120 plus 20, it is 140. All right? So we are done for that one. The next thing is, we are going to look for this coordinate, which is here. 40, 60. So we have 40, 60. And 40, 60 is giving us 3... Uh, 40 plus 2 60. So 3 times 40, we know that is 120. And 2 times 60 is 120. That's giving us 240. Quacha. So take note of the, the amounts. 140 and 240. Let's do for, for the other two remaining. So the other one is um, here at this point. We're just getting those points that are making the initiated area. So it's 80. You can see that it's 80, 80. So that is 80, 80, 80. And this is x as usual, and that's y. And y in x in terms of profit is 3. So 3 times 80. Plus 2 times 80. So 3 times 80 is 240. 240 plus 160. We're having 0. 0. Having 400. So take note of 400. We need to look to also do for the remaining last one. Here we are confirming the maximum profit. So what we are getting actually, when you say 40, 10, we are saying 40 sausages, 40 Hungarian and 10 uh, beef sausages. So the other one is here. And that's not 140, but it's 150. 150, 10, which is 3 times 150 plus 2 times 10. So 3 times 150, that is 0. 5 remainder 1, that's 450, plus 20, that is 470. So now you, 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 you now need to start comparing the profits that you've made, which one is maximum. And we found that 470 is a maximum profit. Now the, the question is, how many, how many of each type do, do, do you need? So the answer is supposed to be you need 150 Hungarian represented by H and you need 10 beef. That is the answer because this is a maximum profit, this one. And hence we need this as our answer. You can go to question uh, last. Question last says, Calculate this maximum profit. We've already calculated it. So if you are asked to find the maximum profit, this is how you find it. And these are the number of sausages that you need, both for Hungarian and for beef. Thank you so much. You can do other examples.